Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make another Santa brush, a little bit of a different version. This one's going to be more rustic and primitive. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a chip brush that I got at, I believe it was Dollar Tree or Walmart, and it was kind of already beat up because I've kind of been using it a little bit, but I figured it was perfect for this rustic Santa. So I'm going to paint the handle of this brush with a deep burgundy color. And it's going to take two coats. So while I'm letting that one dry, I'm going to take this peach color. It's actually called flesh color. I keep getting in trouble every time I say that from people get offended. But that's the color that they named it. They've since changed it to some other name because it was offensive. So I'm going to do the whole metal part with that color. And then this little wood half bead, I'm also going to paint with that same color. Once I had both coats done and they were dry, I'm going to take some pink paint. And I'm just going to dabble a little on either side of this peach part. And this is going to be his cheeks. Next, I'm going to take this. I, I don't even know what it is, but I use it all the time to make eyes. But you can use the back of a paintbrush. And I'm going to do two little black dots for his eyes. And if anybody knows the name of that tool, somebody let me know. Then I did a couple of little eyebrows above his eyes. Then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue that little half brown bead right in the center for his nose. Then I'm going to take some white paint on a stencil brush and I'm going to dip it in the white paint and then I'm just going to splatter the whole handle with it. And I don't mind if I get a little on his face. I don't mind if it kind of just goes everywhere. I just wanted to have that look on the handle. Next, I'm going to take some of this snow it's called glitter snow and i'm going to dab that all around the face right onto the bristles of the brush i went a little bit up on the handle and i'm just going to dab this with a it's like a chip brush and i want it to look very messy i don't want it to look all nice and neat and even so i'm just dabbing it on and i'm using pretty good sized clumps and i'm going to go all around the edges and like i said right up onto the handle right until you hit that where the curve ends on the handle. That's where you want to go to. And I did, like I said, the edges, and I just kept going around and dabbling it until it was fully covered. And I think it looks so cute. So far, so good, right? And I just kept dabbling it on, adding, like I said, some to the bristles itself and making sure that I go all around his face and not to get any on the face. And I added a little bit to the nose also. Next, I'm going to take some brown wax, and I just added a ton of water with it. And I'm going to go around and dab the whole beard that we just did with these glitter snow. And this is just going to kind of give it a rustic look. And I just kept adding it on, adding more water to it. As you can see, I'm just spraying water onto my little mat here. I don't want it to be too dark, but I don't want it to be too light either. I kind of want to give it like a coffee-stained look. And I think it just came out perfect. Now I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to go back in with some more glitter snow, just plain without any stain on it, and kind of go over it to kind of tone down the darkness. Then I took a little tag that I had coffee stained a while ago, and I put a little stamp that says, Happy Ho-Ho Holidays. And then I'm going to tie that to the top using some of this ticking fabric. And I just slid that on, slid that through the handle, and then tied it in a knot, and that is it. This project is done. How super cute is he, and how easy was that? I absolutely adore him. I love the other Santa paintbrush I did too, but this one is so super cute and was super fun to make. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to make one, and as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.